Right, Teleoto champs, what we have here is the Gigabyte Aero 16. And I think this may be the most powerful creator laptop. We will find out. We'll find out its power output in a sec. This thing here comes with a 12900 HK. Yes, indeed, that is the HK version. So we should be able to undervolt it and overclock it. It also comes with a glorious HDR 4K Plus display. And let's have a listen to the sound, actually. You also have the option of an RTX 3080 Ti, so wolf, that is it. That's what we're talking about, the most powerful parts you can get on the Windows world. Now we have a 230 watt power brick, but we're gonna see, is this more powerful than say, for example, the MSI uh, Z Creator laptop, the Z16. Now don't worry about the glitching, that's just the wallpaper app. I'll try a different one, eh? Glorious HDR display. Oof, look at that, that looks very nice. So with the 230 watt power brick compared to the Z Creator 16, uh, that one has a 240 watt power brick, but does this output more watts? That's the thing. We know it's gonna be more than the XPS 17. We know it's gonna be more than, say, the MacBook Pro 16, but the MacBook Pro 16 is unique. It doesn't share the same sort of parts. So even though this may be more powerful, you know, that doesn't mean it's necessarily faster. Now the Aero 15, the last model, started off as a gaming laptop and then sort of morphed into a creator laptop. This from the outset has been designed as a creator laptop. This is for creators, they're the only one that claim delta ease of less than one for their displays. So the calibration is spot on, delta ease less than one, that is like unheard of. That is just amazing. Of course it's that 4K plus OLED display. Yes, this is HDR 500. And yes, it is those Samsung panels. So we'll just have a look here. It's sort of like the difference. You've seen me do this on other laptops. This one's actually getting quite bright, very bright. But what you'll notice is the black areas stay black. I mean, if I go like that, everything's lighting up, but the black areas will stay a lot blacker than they do with an LED display. Drag this around, you will see some trailing. But what I can tell you right now, is with this OLED, I can see a much bigger tail, much bigger trail. And that's because it can actually render those fine details compared to an LED light, where those things just look like gray. It's, you know, the color's not really there. I can see a huge tail on this and I can see color in the tail and that's just OLED. OLED is brilliant. Now, of course it is 60 Hertz. So let's see the reflection here. This is a full glossy display, which is what I like. You can see the LEDs there, uh, there's no diffusion there, so yeah. I mean, it is a bit glossy, I mean, obviously a glossy display is glossy, but just looks a lot better, especially with OLED. I mean, it'll be a crime to put it like a diffused, like matte display on an OLED. So this display is cracking. Now, I do wish they had the option of the 165Hz 16p uh, display yeah I would love if they had that option but this is for creators so it makes sense that you have the best 4k display with the best color accuracy and yeah that's what designers will want now this does have two Thunderbolts and one USB-C you can charge via USB-C 100 watts so that's great that it's got two Thunderbolts but the weird thing is this is a creator laptop and they got rid of the SD card slot so I don't know, that's a bit strange. I think everybody's following Apple's old design. It is just what it is. I think they'll eventually add these back, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Now, actually, this display is in HDR mode. So, yeah, things look really lush on this. I hope you can see this. This uh, video is actually made in HDR, but it just looks amazing, this display. OLED is just wolf. That is just delicious absolutely lush and as you can see here the design cues up here you can see you got the uh, webcam up there so if you're practicing for the fist of fury no problems you know you're gonna get a good angle now this sort of silver and black design sort of like a panda design um, that will be to people's liking or not i sort of don't know if i like it or not um, but I will say that this looks much better than the last Aero. This really looks premium. It looks, you know, up there with the XPS 17. And you can see the thin bezels there. Uh, it definitely looks up there with the MacBook Pro and XPS 17 in terms of design quality. So let's see what its power output is and see how fast it is. Okay, so we're going to put it in its full performance mode or its full fan mode in a sec. We'll test out how loud it is. 
This is the wattage from the wall. That's completely different to how much wattage the system's putting out. We're on turbo mode. Let's see how loud that is. You can see 65 decibels. Now one thing I noticed when I checked, it only uses eight lanes of PCI Express 4 compared to 16 on say other laptops. That might make much of a difference because it is PCI Express 4, but it is what it is. 105 watt RTX 3080 Ti, so that's what it is compared to 90 watts on the Z16 MSI laptop. Let me put it in turbo mode here, okay? Now it's in turbo mode here in the actual Gigabyte Control Center, so this will be full power now, before it wasn't. So that's the thing, right? You can see there, it did go down in the wattage there. We'll see what happens now when we do it. All right, so Wolf, we can see here, 110 watts. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want, 110 watts, 105 watts now. It's gone down to 105 watts. Can it sustain the rage there? Maintain the rage, let's see. We're doing a full 105 watts, which you want. So the MSI does about 110, but it was a lot hotter. So this is 83 degrees. The MSI was over 90, and it was doing 110. So, you know, this is how they've tuned this. They don't want to go, obviously, over. And you can see there, it's gone down to 80 now. All right? Now, the MSI would maintain over 100. This one isn't. But the temperature goes right down. And we'll see what that means in terms of scores there. 17,000 uh, Cinebench score, which is pretty good. I've got over 18,000 on this, so yeah, I'll have to go through the modes later. All right, so now we're seeing what the GPU does, and as you can see there, doing a full 105 watts. So that's what you want there, perfect. Okay, I've left this on for a while, and we're doing 105 watts as usual. And look at that temperature, 51 degrees. 105 watts into the GPU. Very good cool in there. That's really good. 50 degrees, 105 watts. Perfect. Now let's see what happens when you hit the CPU and GPU together. And then I'll compare it to, say, the MacBook Pro XPS 17 and the MSI Z16. And someone asked me, uh, can you test it in gaming? I want to see how its thermal output is when it's gaming hard. Well, you're not going to get harder than this, all right? The gaming loads will not do 100% CPU and 100% GPU, which is what I'm doing here. This is worst case scenario. CPU and GPU are going together, sorry. Um, we can see there, the GPU has gone down to 75 watts, and we're doing 100 watts on the CPU. Now, what's gonna happen here? Who's gonna win? What's gonna happen is the CPU gonna drop down and then the GPU go up? So for me, this is telling me 105 watts there, 74 watts there. That's telling me 180 watts, all right? It can do 180 watts. So forget about what is using what. 180 watts is going into this. So just bear that in mind. Now the CPU is dropping down. Hopefully the GPU will go back up. We're still doing 175 watts. Now the GPU has gone up to 105. CPU has gone down to 14 watts. That's 105 and 15 watts on the CPU. So that's basically what we're gonna get there. That's the total maximum amount of uh, output there. So I'll put that into perspective now. All right, let's put that into perspective. XPS 17, around 80 watts total package. MacBook Pro 16, around 95 watts total package. The Z16 Creator Laptop from MSI, 120 watt package. This one here will go down to about 120 watts, exactly the same as the MSI Z16. So it's just as powerful as that. The only difference here is it's given more wattage to the GPU and less to the CPU. Now, one thing about this is it was maintaining 180 watts for a very long time, which is you know far beyond what any of the other Creator laptops were doing. Now we're talking Creator, if you compare it to a gaming laptop, yeah, you might laugh at these figures, but for Creator, this is definitely on par with the Z16 in terms of power output, and sometimes beyond it when it's like boosting. That is what it is, stay tuned for my full review, catch you in the next one, tally ho!